to train the supraspinatus muscle properly. So sometimes I see that there is excessive upward rotation of the scapula to compensate for the supraspinatus. And it is very important to know about this when strengthening it. Because if the scapula is doing too much compensation, the muscle will not be stimulated properly. Okay. And of course, the most common problem is that the scapula is downwardly rotated and they are getting impingement, right? That's not really what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about kind of proper scapular mechanics, but a compensation by the upper trap for the mid also the middle deltoid, but especially the supraspinatus, right? So the supraspinatus, the, the scapula should be in a pretty much horizontal alignment. That means that the spine of the scapula should be horizontal. It should not be significantly upwardly rotated and never downwardly rotated, right? Uh, so while we are in proper uh, height and upward rotation of the scapula, the arm should gently abduct without any significant ex uh, extra for rotation and sometimes you see that even to get to 45 degrees of abduction of humeral abduction the patient will cause an extreme upward rotation of the scapula so of course we do not need 45 degrees of scapular movement to get 45 degrees of the arm no it should just be one third of that right so we should see 15 degrees 15 degrees of scapular movement to get the arm to 45 degrees okay so if you identify this strategy with your client and they are training the, uh, the supraspinatus, well, they are probably not getting uh, proper engagement with it. Another thing that I often see is that when they are uh, abducting the arm and if they are able to hold the scapula in proper position, they are externally rotating the arm as they abduct. Okay, And that means that uh, the posterior deltoid and also the um, infraspinatus is helping out too much. So we want to keep the crease of the elbow pointing straight forward. We do not want the arm to externally or internally rotate as we elevate the arm. Scapula is stable, not moving significantly, and there is gentle abduction. And abduction to 45, 60 degrees is fine, okay? I'm holding the dumbbell here. My scapula is not hanging down and it's not too high. And I'm keeping the scapula there as I raise the arm. I'm not coming up like this. Many people will do that. But that external rotation will disengage the supraspinatus because the supraspinatus will pull from here to here, right? So if we are going this way, something, something is wrong. Okay, there. Gentle abduction. Slow and nice movement. Don't clench it because you are just engaging the deltoid and the upper trap. So that is, and of course you will do this lying on your side, right, with the dumbbell. Uh, at least I prefer to do that. I'm not doing it seated. It's just for the ease of the video, making it a little bit easier for me to show it to you guys. But that is how I uh, assess the movement and also how I teach it to my patients. Okay, have a nice day.